Welcome to another van build vlog. It's a big day today. We're getting the windows fitted in the van. Uh, we're getting the big sliding door window fitted and also the little vent window over the, the bed at the rear of the van. Um, we're gonna make our way over to Ipswich Car Glass and Trim. Hopefully meet the guys and we'll go from there. I'm hoping they can let me film it. But coronavirus and the social distancing might put a stop to me getting anywhere near the van while they're doing it. But we'll see. Here we go. Carglass and Trim Ipswich and the guys are cracking on with the van but I'm obviously having to keep my distance due to uh, social distancing rules so I've got a time lapse running just so uh, you can watch them do it but I can't I can't get too close to them so it's fair enough it's what it is it's the times we live in the van is all the way over there just measuring the side window Oh, isn't she a beast? She is a beast. Sick roof rack. Dodgy filming again. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Windows are fitted, and this is my buddy Ben. What are we doing here, Ben? I'm trying to pull your reveal, but there's not two bikes into it. Hey, mate, two, two meters apart, mate. Two meters Same apart. Thanks. Two meters apart. I'll show you what we're doing. Ben's a pro carpenter. Allegedly. I'm not, I'm an electrician like Ben. Don't know what you're on about, mate. It's a good attempt. Nice, looks all right, doesn't it? I'm just a trial so, carpenter. So, Ben and I are building a reveal. Uh, don't judge our dodgy carpentry skills. Because we've but, never done it before. But Ben's a lot better at it than I am. Um, all we've done is studded this out, uh, reinforced it away from the metalwork. Is that the right thing to say? Something Probably. Right to say. Brute framework. And then yep. Just to try and keep the curvature of the van. We built it all, didn't we, with these still in place for the bend. And then we did some funky cuts. Some funky cuts. Um, Ran out of wood. As well. <laughs> We've definitely <laughs> ran out of wood. Uh, we're doing this basically so the insulation can go up against it. So I'm going to stick some mastic or something in here just to stop it from leaking through. It's not but, the final product, is it? But no. Eventually, we'll tidy it right up. It'll look a bit better. So crack on. Big day tomorrow. Insulation. <laughs> We've decided to wire it or get the van wired as much as we can before the insulation goes in. So, what are we doing now, Ben? Just wiring something. I'm not quite sure what it <laughs> is. Wiring something. Um, we're, wi we're wiring the lights, basically. I'll show you what we're doing. So, I always say so. I find myself saying that all the time. So, 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 so. Two core flexes. There you go. 
total of two two cores. Nice, nice. Um, we basically run it in two different circuits. So we've got six, that were 10 down lights in total, six lights here in the main sort of seating area, which will be. And then we've got four in over the bed. <laughs> nice. And then all we've done is ran the legs down to our, what is the area called? Our electrical garage. distribution area, garage area, which will be down there. So these will be ran along in the boxing and then down to where the electrics will be kept. Um, what else we've got to pull in? We're now pulling in some under cupboard lights. There'll be a cupboard unit along here and a cupboard unit all the way along this side. So Ben's now pulling in another two core flex uh, to hopefully power some under cupboard strip lights. Um, what else are we doing? What do we do after that? Oh, we've got some sockets to pull in. But we'll go through that once we've done it. We got a lot done today in preparation for the installation tomorrow. Um, as you can see, all the cabling is in as we went through earlier. I've done a little bit more since then. I've um, sucked some of these 2.5 twin nerves in for some sockets, just stuff that I can get in now. So that's for a socket in the um, overhead cupboard. Uh, just for TV or microwave, wherever I just had at the time. And I've also stuck a supply in a bulkhead end in here, um, just in case really. Everything else I think I can get to once it's all been cladded, like behind units and stuff, I wanna make most of it accessible if I can. Um, a lot of this stuff is relatively low load, so I'm not too worried about it being behind insulation. Um, yeah. I think we're good, I think we're good. Um, first thing tomorrow morning, road trip to Chelmsford. Me and Ben, we're gonna go down there and get this thing sprayed out. Hopefully they'll help me film it. Um, I have spoke to them already and sort of given them a heads up that I wanna do some time lapses and sort of as much filming as I can. But again, social distancing will probably keep me out of the way. I'll try and capture as much of this on video as I can. It's good, it's good. See you in the morning. Road trip to Chelmsford for spray insulation. Yeah, spray insulation in there, and I'm going to try some tricks with this now. I'm going to slowly, oh, rotate to the back of the van. There you go, Just spray that, <laughs> and back to the driver. We are trying to be two meters apart, but we're, people like hate is going to hate and all that. It's a wide van. Well, it's a wide van, and also what a lot of you don't realise is Ben and I do actually work a lot of time together. And in our current job, it is um, <laughs> pretty impossible to be consistently two metres apart.
So, so what have you done then? <laughs> we just made our way back from spray installations in Chelmsford. And a hideous bike ride. And a hideous bike ride because we stole their bikes while they weren't doing it. Oh look at him go, sick! Um, as you can see, she's all done. Well, we've got 50 mil. I'll take you through what we've got. So we've got 50 mil of spray foam insulation on the walls. Uh, we've got a light layer on the floors. I'm going to make the rest of this up with. Um, what am I going to make up with? Rock wall. Rock wall <laughs> insulation. Um, bad idea for any of you guys listening. <laughs> Don't uh, underseal the bed of the van because apparently this doesn't stick to it very well. So I'm going to get the floor down as quick as I can. Yeah, hates uh, bitumen and tar. Hates bitumen and tar. Um, same with the walls. There's a little bit of a gap. I'm going to pull my last remaining cables in and then pack out with rock wall. I just didn't want the rock wall or Celotex against the metal work of the van because it creates a condensation trap and then basically rusts the van from the inside out. Uh, this is like closed cell insulation from the research that I've done. So it doesn't hold moisture and it's obviously stuck directly to the outside of the van. So you haven't got to worry about um, condensation build up. The gaps he hasn't done is like these areas in the doors where the door mechanisms are because apparently he's had, they've had uh, issues in the past where people have filled them up with insulation and the mechanisms don't work and obviously this is, this is a pretty permanent solution so we're a bit stuffed if that happened. So again, I'll fill that with rock wall. Um, any loose spaces will be the same. The same as in the back doors. Same thing applies but he's insulated where he can. So the guys are Lee, Leon and Tom from Spray Wall or Spray Insulations. I'll um, stick a link in the description below. Nice guys. Nice guys, really nice guys. Um, so they, they do this sort of stuff all the time. Uh, I'll also put a link in for the Ipswich Car and Glass who did the windows because they're brilliant. They do carpeting, trims, all sorts of stuff for these. Man, they do pop tops for transporters as well. Um, yeah, good few days. What are we gonna do now? We're going to Wix We're now. Cut cut that cable tie, someone forgot that. Oh, I'm an idiot, unbelievable. <laughs> um, we're going to get Wix for a, a material order. So, next step is, yeah, Wix, we're going to get a load of tongue groove, some ply, some MDF, fill it up with materials for the weekend's worth of work. So this closes out the next vlog, I think. So uh, this will go out on Friday, and the next one will be Cladden Hope you enjoyed it. Let us know what you think. Subscribe and like.